end of the month and that means it's time for the monthly wrap. Usually I would be doing this at home, but right now I am in beautiful Tasmania. I'm actually in Stanley. We're staying at the Ship Inn and this room is so incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna pick the camera up and take you on a little tour later on. But first of all, let's recap on the epic month that we just had. September. We launched a video this month that I was really quite proud of. It was the Art Deco Apartment Makeover video. So Armadale. We got Armadale. To give you a bit of background on this, we shot this, we did it like late last year. We didn't really have much of a game plan in terms of what we were shooting. We we're just gonna document the process of us renovating my apartment and put it kind of together. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's lunchtime. <laughs> after we finished, you know, and after it was sold, we looked at the footage and we kind of didn't know what to do with it. We we're like, oh, I don't, do we put it out there? I don't know. We didn't do anything with it. For starters, we were kind of nervous that it wasn't good enough and, you know, we didn't really know. But look, recently we looked at the footage again and we thought, this is actually really great. You know, it's not going to win any kind of like cinematic awards. <laughs> it wasn't potentially that well shot. We didn't really go in it with a story specifically in mind. But do you know what? We looked at it and thought this is actually really just honest documentary style of what we were doing and it literally just shows our process and we really enjoyed it it was kind of really fun so thank you so much a lot of you really enjoyed it it was a really interesting process it was really hard because if anyone's done a renovation you know that it's an incredibly hard thing to do and I'm very tired in a lot of these <laughs> in a lot of these clips I sort of look back and be like oh my god early on my bags were like next level heavy but as it went on you know I became a lot more sort of happy and it looked like I'd got a lot more sleep as the project went on. So that was just the reality of it. So that was really fun and thank you so much for everyone that enjoyed it. And we've got more renovation videos coming your way as well. So that's exciting. We're gonna be doing some more cosmetic fixes and some small renovations in our new home. Looking at starting with the living room, kitchen, laundry, maybe the bathroom. It depends how much energy we have. So that's gonna be coming your way really soon. But anyway, Art Deco apartment makeover was pretty fun. That was massive. That happened this month. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you watch it. As far as home tools, went. We had two incredibly different homes for you this month. We started off with the beach house in Aries. That was just an incredible home. It was just so many different angles and shapes. Oh, I can see myself here with a glass of wine chilling out. I might have to make that happen later on actually. But to be honest with you, the behind the scenes, what you didn't kind of see was the fact that I kind of went in there and just fell in love with this family that lived there. I mean, they were just so lovely and welcoming. Their home, whilst it looks quite harsh from the outside and kind of like scary, you walk in and it's literally as if you have come home into this beautiful, cozy family as if you've been part of this family for years. I really enjoyed it, you know, I had their wine. That'll do nicely. It was beautiful. I had homemade cookies. Ginger snap. You know I will. That was pretty amazing. So I hope you guys got a sense of just how warm and welcoming and friendly the owners of that home were from that home tour. And then the most incredible, gorgeous home in the hills, we went up to Belgrave. There are so many gorgeous plants in here. Look at this fiddle and that rubber tree as well. That is just a beautiful, creative, artistic home. I love homes when every corner has been considered, much like this room actually, which I will show you very soon. But every single corner has sort of been considered. There are these beautiful vignettes that have been styled. There were plants everywhere. There was just handmade elements, paintings, trinkets, so many personal items and I just loved it. And honestly, we've got to talk about the landscape. That was probably the most impressive thing actually where it was there was you know a garden out the front growing their veggies all of the chickens roaming free out the back and the wood chopping I mean the wood chopping hello I hope you watched till the outtakes because you would have seen me chopping that wood fun fact wood chopping was officially my favorite childhood chore growing up I loved it that was a good way to earn some money back in the day and being growing up in Tasmania I just remember going to those Royal Easter show things and watching David Foster chop wood so I feel like you know I've really got my <laughs> <laughs> Got my wood chop on. Oh, she's a big boy. All right, hang on. I'm gonna have to. Good old Tazzy girl, that is. I'm rambling. Anyway. I want to go through some of the comments that you guys left, but my phone's over there. I want to go get it. So, I'm gonna take you on a tour of this incredible room. <sighs> All right, we're learning out how to use the camera. So first of all, look at this delicious wallpaper we've got here. Absolutely sets the tone. And Jono is just testing out the bed. Does it check out? It's pretty comfy. It's pretty comfy. Like 
<laughs> we had all these grand plans of going exploring this afternoon, but then we saw this room and we're like, eh, maybe not. But then if you come here, look at this styling. How cute's this reading corner with, they've got their own pencils. Oh my God, to leave feedback with. Oh my God, I'm so stealing one of those pencils. And then let's go through, oh, straighten up. There you go. Oh, isn't everyone glad that I don't do these home tours? Look at this gorgeous kitchen. How nice is that kitchenette? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then look at all these beautiful, look at all these beautiful ceramics. Okay, yeah, look, I can't film this. This is going to make everyone sick. So Jono, can you just swap places with me and I'll take everyone on a little tour. Do I have to get up? <laughs> yes, come on. So this is the lovely kitchen. That's gorgeous. That looks out onto these incredible gardens. I mean, look at those gardens. And that up there is the nut, which we're gonna go check out later. Let's go in here. We've got bathrooms. They've just done all these bathrooms and none of these en suites were here and they fitted them out. They're so gorgeous. As soon as you kind of walk through the door, which is there, you get a real sense that you've come home. And then this is super cool. So look at this. It's called Wild Wave. So this has the story of the room and this has actually been named after the shipwreck that's out the front here. So I think that's really beautiful. They tell a story in every single room. It is quite cold outside. So we've got boots and we've got the coats. We've got the Tazzy outfits. So anyway, that was a very bad, very poor tour, uh, but we'll give you a little bit of a look at that later on. Oh, okay. That was like the worst home tour ever. We'll do a proper home tour and we'll cut it all for you. But if you are interested in this hotel and everywhere that we're going on our Tassie travels, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube because we are putting together a pretty epic Tassie video series, basically. We're gonna be documenting all of the incredible places that we're visiting, all the different areas, all of the different incredible spaces that we go to, accommodation, houses, everything. It's gonna be epic and you need to watch and see, so subscribe. But we will be doing a better tour of this room and Jono will be behind the camera, not me. I'll be in front of it. <laughs> so as far as what you guys had to say this month, you guys had quite a bit to say actually. So thank you for that as always. You loved the Aries house. It was an epic kind of man cave, wasn't it? With all those cars, that wine cellar, huge sort of storage space as well, which we don't often go into the garages of people's homes because sometimes I feel like that's invasive or they're not really pretty, but we actually are getting a lot of people asking us to go into people's garages, mainly the guys. So what I'm gonna try and do from now on is to go into garages because I think people are interested. Are you interested in garages? Me? Yeah. yeah. I would just do garage tours. John, I just wanted to go. <laughs> Well, man cave tours, just man well, cave workshop. Maybe that our new series. Let us know in the comments below. If Let us know in the comments garage, below if you want to see more garages tours. and man caves and workshops. Let us know. So you guys were saying about the Aries house, as expected, it was stunning and like your saying it, that it was surprising with its homey feel. Living on trend, thank you. It was very homely inside. Jackie Mia said, love it. Nothing seems super expensive or pretentious in terms of the furniture and bedding. It's colorful and accessible and it really looks great for a family. Could not agree with you more there. Really beautiful interiors. And then you guys had to say about the Art Deco apartment makeover. Where'd you buy all your beautiful furniture from? In the living room, to your, I'm obsessed with that rug says Amy Thursby. That was actually, we went to the Globe West showroom for that one. That was the Aura Bubble Rug Amy. So really beautiful rug from Globe West. Head to the article on our website. We've got a list of all the suppliers so you can check out everything that we put into that home. I'll put a link in the bio below to that article. Debbie Warren 1960 said, I used to drive past this building every day and I loved it. Oh, how I miss you, Melbourne. Oh, Debbie Warren. Melbourne misses you too. Bianca GD says, amazing. Amazing job. And who was the artist you mentioned? Sarah, someone. I love that piece you have. Bianca, that was Sarah Kelk. She is a Australian, well, look, she's a Kiwi, but I'm gonna claim her as an Australian artist. She's an incredible abstract artist and you've got to go check her out. I'm very lucky to have one of her works and she does incredible pieces as well as prints as well. So definitely make sure you check out Sarah Kelk. Her work's just beautiful. It would make any room, but essentially it really fitted into that really chilled, relaxed style that I was going for. And then Nika Jax, mate, I love love your comments every single time. Nicka Jax, I tell you what, you win the emoji game. I'll just have to, can you even see? Nicka Jax. 
You make me laugh, mate. Keep giving me those emoji stories. Basically, you just make the best stories up with emojis. No one needs words. <laughs> Why would you need words? I love it. Keep it coming. I expect, by the way, Nicker Jacks, a comment on every single campaign that we do from now on. Okay? Just saying. Also, we made a change this month, and I actually want to know if you guys prefer it or not, but we used to always cut our videos for IGTV, and we used to make them vertical, and so now we've actually stopped doing that. We're actually loading up the horizontal format, which we usually load up to YouTube so if you watch our videos on IGTV and you used to watch them vertical crop and now you're watching them full landscape can you let me know if you prefer them that way because we'll keep doing them that way if that's what you prefer but I'd really like to know so please let us know in the comments below lush greenhouse in the hills you guys absolutely loved it obviously Nick and Jax you struck again Rem San KRD said very 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 good that's a lot of berries fine and sunny said awesome play so much to love could not agree more someone said flip more au said shoes inside after walking in the chicken coop ah i totally wiped my feet okay i totally wiped my feet little summer house said this looks like such an ah i'm home house to come home to lucky owners thanks for another lovely and inspiring tour you are very welcome thank you little summer house lz bod where did you get your shoes from those ones were from habit a lot of love people will say it reminds them of friends home Homes, family homes, and people loving the plant. The plant, like love, was just next level awesome. So, what's on for next month? Do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> okay, so what's on for the next month? Right now, we're in Tasmania, and we're gonna be in Tassie for the next two and a half weeks. So we're gonna be documenting all of that. However, that's not gonna be launching until probably the end of next month into November. If you are interested in watching Tassie, those videos that we're gonna be creating, which are gonna be awesome, just saying. You've gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's where they're all gonna be launching. Next month, we've got heaps more home tours coming for you, plus, one of the home tours that we're launching next month is like, I can't even begin to explain. It's like this multi-million dollar mansion in the middle of Turak. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. I feel like I could just stay here all day, but I'm well aware we've got a home tour to do. Let's keep going. It was so big. In fact, it's the longest lettuce in I think we've ever done. It might even be the best lettuce in we've ever done. I say that literally every single time. Um, but that is launching next month, so please watch out for that. We also have plenty more lettuce in home tours coming your way as well. We're gonna be talking all things home. But basically, follow along to our Instagram because we are gonna be sharing a lot of our behind the scenes of our Tassie trip and our Tassie adventures. So that's kind of it. I think I better go outside. We should probably walk somewhere. I don't really want to because though this room is really Really cute and like gorgeous but we should probably walk somewhere and we'll show you around Stanley so that's it thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed my home tour comment below let me know what you think let me know what you want to see next month as well and like always keep watching keep following and we'll keep creating all right catch you later guys bye